What is going on everybody? Nick here, bringing you into an antique store today. This one is Midtown Antique Mall here in Stillwater, Minnesota. This one is three levels to it. It's got furniture on top. Got your all different types through the two other levels. So, kind of show you guys what I look for for my collection. I am a Disney collector. I collect everything Disney, obviously. I am a lover of all of it. So we're going to hopefully find some good pieces today. I am here with my mom as well. Take you around, show you guys as much as I can. So for those of you who are collectors out there, what do you guys like to collect? Really? Is there anybody else out there who is a Disney collector like myself? What do you collect? Do you guys look for specific items? Any kind of memorabilia? Or are you guys kind of all over the board? I more so like the antique stores that have things kind of organized a little bit. Makes things a little bit easier when you go looking around. But and these are also kind of fun because you never know what you're going to find. You got to always double check these nooks and crannies. You never know what you're going to find. right over there. Pinocchio card game. Let's see if I can zoom it in for you all. 20 bucks. And if there's anything you guys ever want me to look for, feel free to comment down below what you would like me to look for and I can see what I can do to find out information for you. I will post the information for this store down in the description. If you feel free to come out and check it out, support local businesses. It's always fun to keep these guys going. A lot of history in some of these pieces. Hmm? Ooh, that's a cool old sign. Very good condition too, actually. And this is actually a store. I'm actually friends with a couple of these dealers. I've been here enough times to where they've started to know me. I've gotten to know some of them. They've helped me on deals. They've helped me find out information about pieces so this is one cabinet obviously that we enjoy because this is usually where they have quite a few of the items we look for for my collection anything good in there kind of looks like they haven't changed out too much from last time actually I'm always looking for something I don't have in my collection, but it's usually fairly hard. There's a nice snow globe back there, but right in that back. It's $37 for it. Looks like it's Mickey made around Christmas time. They did at one point have some good figurines over here, but I can't see where they moved them to. You remember which ones I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Ooh. Nice Ducks Unlimited piece. I am a hunter, actually, so this is kind of cool. It's 425. Wowzers. <laughs> but if you know what you got, you might as well go for it. And there are days when I go out antiquing, I may not even buy anything. But you never know until you actually go out and try to look around and see what you can find. It's kind of the fun in this, this just going out there and kind of taking a surprise. Hi, it's me. Oh yeah, these are the ones that are really hard to kind of look through to see if you can find anything when they have them just completely packed full. Let's see what's down this hallway here. Lots of more of everything. Oop, I'm not going to show that section of that, uh, that box. Well, that would get me a, <laughs> that would get me a strike. And I call this the wall of mugs. I mean, you, you name it, it's probably here somewhere. Looks like they have some old Christmas ones. Ooh, nice books right there. Look at those. Saint Nicholas. That is who I am actually named after, is Saint Nicholas. Here's our little random corner where things kind of just get thrown in here that really don't have a place out there. Why is that so terrifying back there? Look at that. Oh. Yeah, no, that's a, uh, that's a big no for me there. Mm. Talk about nightmares. Imagine seeing that just, uh, hanging out in a corner. No, thank you prefer to sleep in peace tonight. Thank you very much. Anything at all over here? Cool. Sesame Street train car. Got Big Bird. Got Cookie Monster. And I cannot figure out why I can't remember the green guy. <laughs> and we will go up to the second level here just shortly. Just kind of going to make a little bit of a loop de loop. Mickey picture frame there. Got 
Got your fancy china set right here. Very pretty though. Got that gold trim around it. Got all the plates to go with it. Very, very pretty. All right, up we go to our adventure. Make sure you guys do double check all these sides. You never know what you're gonna see on the sides here. And so there's a furniture gallery. We may do a quick little walk up there just to kind of show you guys what's up there. That way if you see anything you may be interested in, you can always come over and check it out. Some nice AT&T Mickey phones. I actually have these in my own personal collection. There's very few I actually do not own. I have been slowly trying to collect them myself over time to have a little nice, nice phone display. Oh, what'd you find? Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket, huh? I don't ever see those. Let's see if we can get the focus here. Alright. What do you think? Yep, for three bucks. Ooh, three bucks for Jiminy. Can't go wrong there. Let's see if we can get a good picture. There we go. There he is. Like I said, guys, I am a big Disney fanatic. I love anything and everything Disney. From DVDs to VHSs to old school back in the, like, the 1930s. I have quite a variety in my collection. I also don't mind a nice beer handle as well, too, for taps. Eventually, when I move to Florida, I would like actually to set up a bar. And whether it's one of those... uh shed ones or inside the actual place we'll look at these Saint Nick's here always love it and a lot of these are handmade so you know it takes time to do it A Huey Dewey and Louie comic. Aww, Lady in the Tramp. Oh, look at the kitty cats. <laughs> Let's see, do we have anything good in here? Peanuts, Star Wars. How many of you are Star Wars fans? Comment below if you guys are. Who is your favorite character? Down duck juice. What else do we have over here? Shoes, purses. Oh, there's my mom again. Anything over there? Squishy hat. <laughs> Different. Looks like one of those old, like, one of those old voting hats back in the day kind of material. Here's one of those old Mickey glasses that you would collect from McDonald's. I actually have a full, I have a full set of them. 
Do you still have yours? And now we're going to come up to what I like to call Expensive Avenue. And you'll see just why here in a second. Called Expensive Avenue is because you got Mr. Radke's ornaments in there. Actually, Radko. Radko is the name. My bad. Don't tear me apart. Very, very expensive ornaments. I have a couple, but that's because they were on sale. She got some nice pins here, anniversary. Got a full set of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween, actually. So that's really cool. Here's some more so you can actually kind of see those Radcos again. There's a Pinocchio. Mr. Uh, Jiminy Cricket back there. Cute little plate of Pluto. Nice little vase. Oh, here's a classic right here. How many remember this book right there? Silent Night for Peef. I actually have my book signed by the author, and I have my Peef still original, and he still squeaks, so it's kind of cool. Here's all your woodworking tools, got anvils, all sorts of crazy tools in there. Here's a lot more of them. Ooh, look at that trunk. That's actually a really nice trunk. It'll be a fun restoration project. All the different types of levels. Oh. Now my buddy John would appreciate these. He is a big train fanatic. Green Hornet Angel. Some more old school. Nothing really stands out to me here, so probably gonna pass on this for now. I don't know how that lunchbox looks. Doesn't look to be too bad. Missing your thermos. Mm. What a shame. It'd be nice to have a full collection. Aww. Well, that's a cute hat for a little kiddo. Here's a beautiful setup. Nice fine china right there. those masks. <laughs> My 
But this is why I say check every nook and cranny. You never know what you're going to find. C3PO and R2D2. In one of these videos, guys, if we get enough people, maybe I'll do a little show and tell with some of my collection. Now you guys can kind of see what I collect and what I have and what I kind of look for when it comes to certain items and how to tell what's kind of worthwhile and Smurf fans here? Here you go. You even got some monsters. <laughs> there he is. Some dolls over here. I got some random knickknacks in here. Seems to be mostly like a doll kind of area. Let's see what we can find. Ooh. Well, hello. Okay, yeah, you definitely ain't gonna fit me as cute as you are. Oh, we actually have an ornament in here, I see. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see if we can get inside. Oh, we can. Let's take a look at this guy. Well, first off, 20 bucks. Hmm. I think he's worth it. Here's kind of a little bit of an overview of every the whole place. Like I said, I'll try to get up to the third one if I can. So more little knickknacks back in there. Ooh, we got Miller Highlight. That's cool. Paps Blue Ribbon. Ham's Beer. Another Miller Light. What is your guys' go-to drinks? If you had to choose one. Ah, oh, Mickey's missing his nose over there. Star Wars and little glasses. Set on what we have so far here. Get to show you guys what today's haul is going to be. We also got a nice Jiminy Cricket glass and this nice ornament here. So I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out with me. Appreciate you watching the video. Make sure if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you hit that like, follow, and let me know what you'd like to see next time. Is there a specific thing you want me to look for? And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and see you next time.